my main responsibility is making sure that the patient has an airway. Is actually, I always tell people that I breathe for people. RTs, we all have a different role. We care for a, a pretty wide variety of patients. Cardiac patients, both surgical and medical. You could come in and before you even put your stuff down and there's a trauma that's coming in. We maintain a patent or open airway. Well, a day in the life for me as a respiratory therapist, I usually try to get here around 6.45. We huddle as a team. We would take a look at our assignment sheets to find out uh, where we're assigned for the day. We have a charge therapist, floor therapists, specific ICU therapists as well. We have therapists that don't have a specific assignment and so they're kind of in help roles. As therapists, we kind of know what each other are thinking, what needs to be done next. The toughest part of my job the fact that I deal with sick patients. I want to treat them like I would want my loved one to be treated. I try to kind of bring a fresh approach to each patient, even if I've just been in 10 to 12 different rooms. On those really tough days when we're going to lose a patient, we try to lean on one another when those situations kind of come up. There's always somebody there to help you when you're kind of drowning. I started my career in the pandemic. It was kind of a scary time. Our new grads, they need an opportunity to experience being in a critical situation. We make sure we look after each other. Reassure them they're not by themselves. And they were like, okay, yes. I learn something new every hour, every minute. This is a second career for me. I was um, actually a loan officer. Thought it would be best to try something new. And my wife, she recommended that I look into respiratory therapy. I wanted to be a nurse. But once I started my clinicals and really got into the program, I found that, yeah, I didn't want to be a nurse. I want to be a respiratory therapist. I sought out a program to go back to school and get my associate's degree in respiratory therapy. It's been a great change. I hit my year mark and I cannot believe the things that I have done now versus how I was when I first did it. There is opportunity for growth here. You can become an expert on equipment and become a clinical specialist that way. Work in the NICU or even in the pediatric intensive care unit. You know, it's a great field. You're going to be valuable. There's a lot of positions open right now. There's uh, times where you're going to feel really stressed out, but you can go home at the end of the day and know that you added value, you had an impact on patients. Yes, the most fulfilling part of this job is seeing a patient get discharged. It's just amazing to like roll back and know that, oh, I was here when this patient was admitted. Even on someone's very, very worst day, I have an opportunity to be a part of saving, comforting, whatever it is I can do at that particular time. This is what we do, we do breathing.